This is my setup for filming today. I'll be hooking my phone on this tape dispenser. I know this is really high-end, high-quality, mind-blowing technology. Hi guys, happy Monday, I'm back. You know what I realized in the last four videos I did? I had the same shirt on. Only because I filmed two of them in the same day. And then I wore, well it's a Christmas shirt. I only wear it during the month of December. And it's really like outdated and it totally embarrasses my daughters. It's, um, it's from the band Sleeping With Sirens, which they were sort of into this band a few years ago. And I just like the shirt because it's one of those kind of cute Christmas shirts. I spent 30 bucks on it online and my daughter only wore it like twice. So anyways, I wear it and I go to different schools all the time. So they don't know that I wore it the day before. And I realized I filmed my last four videos in the same shirt. So a change of shirt today. This is also Christmassy. I love this shirt and I only wear this during the winter too. So thank you guys so much for watching last week. I feel like a lot of people watched that video. I kept waiting for a dislike and I didn't get one because I thought I was really, um, that wasn't very nice of me, my clickbait. I'm sorry. The title was, I tested HIV negative. And I truthfully, I did. It was just talking about when I tested HIV negative in 2011. So it wasn't totally clickbait. I mean, it's honest, it's the truth, but it was a little deceiving. I understand that, but that's, that's so YouTube. And I'm sorry, I have to do some things that are just kind of YouTube-y um, because it's just the way it is on YouTube. Otherwise, no one will look at your video. Someone had asked me in the comments in my last video, they were sort of confused because I tested negative. It was negative in 2011. And then I've talked about becoming undetectable. And then they say, I'm confused. Do you still have HIV? Yes, I still have HIV. I, there's no cure for it. And um, even though you might see something like Dr. Sebi or any of these herbal cures, they're not a cure. And Dr. Sebi is a joke, so that's spam. I delete that all the time. Um, people actually write to me and they get like, not uh, not often, but people will say, um, wow, you're so like closed-minded about it. Don't you know that like he's saved lives and he's curing HIV? And I'm like, it's just a bunch of friggin' BS. So anyways, I delete that. Please don't fall for it. Um, you have to take an antiretroviral for HIV and that is the only way to take care of the virus. All the other stuff is fake. I also delete any messages that say HIV is a hoax or you know AIDS isn't caused by HIV. All of those are just like weird conspiracy theories so I just delete those because that's just just they're creepy. I don't know it just like I feel like I'm going into this creepy other world so yeah, if you send me those, they just get deleted automatically. Someone had asked me if I were to have a baby with Eric. <laughs> okay, I'm 48, he's 50, we're not having babies, and I'm totally fixed. I've had my tubes tied, I've had ablation. Uh, yeah, I'm not having any more kids. But let's say I could, and I was younger, and it was all possible. Could I have a baby with Eric? Um, yeah, totally. And the chances of that baby getting HIV are pretty much nil. So um, babies don't get HIV in utero it happens during the birthing process and I only learned about this after my diagnosis by having a lady in my group who's a midwife and she's HIV positive and she explained the whole thing to me it happens during birth there's just a lot of fluid uh, I think it's something with it maybe getting in the eyes um, but it's yeah that it's a traumatizing time for a baby when it goes through the vaginal canal and that's when it happens and I've heard also that with twins there's a girl in my group who's a twin her name is Brenda and I'm gonna put her name like right here so you guys can find her on Instagram she got it but her brother did not because she was the first one out and the brother didn't get it they say typically with twins if it's untreated HIV this is when it happens it has to be treated if it, when it's treated there's no um, chance of transmission but um, or it's like incredibly like under a percent it's really low she when the first baby comes out is when most of all the fluids come out and so the first baby to come out if it's a vaginal birth are at more risk so that's what she told me that was good information just so all of you guys know, I don't usually talk this fluidly when um, I do the videos. What you guys don't see is there's a lot of pauses and I'm looking at what I want to read and then I go back into it and I take out all my so's and ums and my pauses and all of that and it comes across very clean and neat, but that's not typically how um, I speak. I mean, sometimes, but for the most part, it's pretty cleaned up and I like that. So I wanted to show you guys a picture that was sent to me. 
This was sent to me by my friend Haley. Um, she uh, got it from a doctor 14 years ago. I think the picture is a bit older though. And he took it in Honduras. And she lives in San Francisco, my friend Haley. We've known each other literally our whole lives. So in light of what happened to me, she had this picture and she thought that I would want it. So it was taken of these two girls in Honduras who were walking away from a clinic um, both HIV positive, this doctor had taken it, and um, sadly, both of the girls had passed away within a year after this photo was taken. It's just, it's sad and beautiful at the same time, and um, I just really wanted to share it with all of you. Yeah, sad. So I'm gonna start doing more lives. Um, I'm lining up my kids. I'll be lining up people that I know that are positive, that are comfortable speaking um, about it in public. So I'm gonna just connect them during my YouTube live and I'll do like, I think it's like a split screen. I don't know, I haven't done it yet. We'll see how it turns out. But I'm gonna start with my daughter, Joey. Actually, by the time you guys watch this, Joey's interview will have been done or our live will have been done. So look for it on my channel. And yes, I'm still totally obsessed with the uh, Chris Watts case. I did three videos so far and two of them have taken off like none of my other videos have ever taken off. Like so many views and like 20,000 views in two and a half days. People are really curious about as much information as they can get about the case. But what was it really interesting is these videos get more dislikes than I'm used to because most of my videos don't get a whole lot of dislikes. For some reason these do and I, I asked my daughter, my kids are just totally into YouTube so they kind of like know more about it in some ways than I do and I asked them, you know, do you think with, you know, 19,000 views that 45 dislikes is bad? And my daughter said, well, no, because it's a really controversial subject. And that's why it's like pretty normal like to see that. So it's been crazy. There's like over 1,200 comments between the, the three videos. So many, I can't even keep up with it. There's so many comments, it's crazy. So I'm gonna do a third video for sure. For a fourth video, actually. Um, I'm writing down all my stuff now and I'm going through and watching some more videos and looking through the data file through to the very end. And um, it's chilling. It really is very chilling. I have some really interesting feelings about Chris Watts. It's just, um, it's the whole thing so damn heartbreaking. And part of it is definitely toward him. Um, it's really, I know everyone says he's a monster and he's this horrible person, but um, part of my heart breaks for him. I think that he has a lot of problems. And I think um, everything just went out of control and he, he lost control. I don't think this guy um, is as calculated and a monster as everyone thinks. I think there's something else going on wrong with him that hasn't been looked at. But anyways, there'll be more from that. So this is my video for Monday. I hope you guys all have a good week and um, it's Christmas Eve, everybody. Merry Christmas Eve. I hope everybody has an amazing Christmas tomorrow if you celebrate Christmas. If not, whatever you celebrate, I hope it's amazing. And um, I'll see you next week. Keep the questions coming because they make it really easy for me. It's so easy for me to answer questions this way. So uh, keep the questions coming. I'll answer them as I keep making vlogs. And um, that's it. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Follow me on Instagram. I do like daily stuff all the time. I do the Instagram stories. I don't want to do YouTube stories. Nobody looks at them. So Instagram is where I do it. If you want to follow me through the day, that's where it's at. I do. I'm like nonstop with my phone filming. Everybody's used to me doing it. I do it all over the place. So anyways, if you want to see what I do in my daily life, um, follow me on Instagram. V-O-N girl 24, Von girl 24. A student gave me this most delicious chocolate Oreo truffle. She said the inside is just Oreos mushed up with um, cream cheese. And then I guess you like, you know, mix it all up and then refrigerate it and you make the balls and then you dip it in chocolate. So good. Oh my God, this is like sinful, super yummy.
We're going skating? Yes. Hop in, lady. Baby Kitty's gonna go too. Oh, where are you going? Oh. Bye, baby kitty.